According to Honorable Dr. Abbas Tajuddin, a member of the Federal House of Representatives, there are more than 5 trillion Naira governmental projects abandoned across Nigeria. The question is, why do we have lots of uncompleted and abandoned structures scattered all around us? Is it A, lack of government intervention, B, lack of funding, C, lack of citizens' engagement, or D, all of the above? One of the benefits of being a citizen of a country is to enjoy the basic health services, which is offered through the primary health centers. The primary health center is structured for healthy and sustained existence, but the reverse was the case for Faith, who lost her baby because the facility lacked qualified medical personnel. And seven months, that they were called the pain me. When we reached the clinic, I not see any doctor, one nurse did it. So me, they go call one copper doctor. I see, shook hand inside, the water inside called boss. I say, because the water boss, he got side touch in face, he say, he needed it. Treat me again. I'm washing and call go as go sleep. I call the bleed. The next morning, I'm going to the general hospital. Call do scanning. Instead of placenta, they from so I know if it's born or operation. They suffer me well for the clinic. And the Pekin said they send me they bring money. No money now. Six days. They call expose the Pekin. Keep on for bed. Breeze can enter the Pekin, but the Pekin can't die. These primary healthcare centers are the community's first and immediate point of call for medical service. But when there is a lack of access to their roads, equipment, drugs and personnel, it becomes a dangerous path to tread on. No matter how they look at it, primary health care is like a place, I would say, it's like a coven. In fact, they don't have a facility there. The state of uh, their laboratory, you know, they have, uh, they, 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 they've stolen everything from there. Why won't they steal it when there's nothing engaging the people? Whenever rainy season comes around like that, most of us will begin shiver because we have no road. Whenever water comes around, nothing like vehicle or motorcycle, unless we ourselves trek across or we can swim across. If not, there is no any solution for us because there, we have no two road. <laughs> So, most na lo kele bo a, ike ho ine ke chiko be bo, a lo che bagu doctor lang, lo chiko wine chia, a lo lo doctor, so nos a i jala bo. In my community, we have a health center. But do you know that there are no nurses, no midwives. So what the community did was to employ this local Midwives. I'm bearing Mrs. Sehawa Ibrahim. Kwa mami yama, ikuno majenga onuhui. Abi, abi kuji, abi ibuji, abi waji. Echi mbogo uki bogo pe, echi mbogo uji mbogo pe, uji mbogo pe onuhui. Because of no facility in the healthcare center, my friend's wife was about to give death. After delivery, the woman was still bleeding. After some time, she died. The challenge we have in this hospital, there is no equipment for us to do the work. There is no medicine, proper medicine for us, except to, there is a certain woman where they call of recent, where they call Grace. Is the person, he uses the personal money to go and buy medicine to treat our people. And there is no medicine here up to today. The health and well-being of the beneficiaries of these projects expresses these poor situations. The hospital. The doctor, they're just very wicked. Then they take care of people. If you don't pay money, that's so they go suffer you. About three women died of pregnancy because we were not able to carry them to that distance to a lady. Because there's no, no, no clinic that is close to us here. You can move 20 kilometers before you reach a lady. 
The basic education system also faces similar challenges. Across the country, there are uncompleted educational structures and inadequate school facilities. This is a great cause for concern. I gave the contractor every assistance to ensure that the wall was set up. Incidentally, the work was almost half done when he said he wants to ask for more money to complete the work. So the work is now hanging. The section that is hanging is a very delicate uh, area at the back of the school compound, a hidden part, and so a lot of uh, infiltrators into the compound, intruders, endangering the security of the school. They come in at will and they go out at will. Sometimes people will ride both the bike through the school compound, distracting the children. Because of the uncompleted perimeter fence of the school, there are pathways that enable criminals even to walk into the school compound. They have broken into the laboratories, computer rooms, and made their way with some items. The uncompleted fence have affected me because I'm even afraid that one day maybe some gangs or boys might come in through those fence and perform so many dirty acts like licking and some other things. Insecurity of both life and property is what the major problem is. Sunana Muhammad Tonko, ni mutum yan mata ne da local government. Akwai matsalo li da dama wadanda suka dame mu wanda kuma har ma mun rasa yadda za mu da su. Misali tun da makarantar nan boarding ce amma har yanzu babu wasu mata da aka aje wanda za su rika dafa wa yaran nan abinci. Sai FTA ne suka dau nauyi suke biyan su. Sannan babu wasu irin matan da ake ce musu masu reno din nan nane wanda za su rika kula da yaran nan. Yaran nan su suke wa kansu komai su suke wanke ban daki da sharan makaranta da komai da su suke wa kansu farkon lokacin da aka bude wannan makaranta shugaban karamar hukuma na wannan lokacin yayi mana alƙawarin daukan mata guda hudu wanda za su yi wannan hidimar to amma hakan bata faru ba har zuwa yau sannan malaman da suke koyar da alƙur'ani ma su ma makaranta ce take biyan su ma'ana FTA ne da wani bangare na SBMC for many students, there isn't a conducive environment to learn. In other cases, the opportunity to be educated is also lost. The educational status of uh, most of the children in this community is very low. These children are maximum in number. If you are to count them, the school is very small for them, but notwithstanding, not even all the parents can send them to the schools. Ina farin ciki da in naga mutum yana karatun alƙur'ani, ina farin cikin haka. Ni ma balanta na kuma abin ya zo kaina a ce ya tafi makaranta. Fata na Allah ya bashi ilimi mai amfani mai albarka wanda wani ma zai amfane shi. Ko saboda akwai matsaloli a makarantai sanin kaina ne na san akwai iyayen yara da matsaloli sun ciccire iyayen su kan abubuwa da ke faruwa. Karanci abubuwa ne na kula da makarantai ga ba wadatar malamai kuma daliban ba wani wadatar da kulawa The students of Government Technical College had their hopes for a fully equipped laboratory dashed when the contract was literally cancelled before their very eyes The laboratory have used the windows are there, but the doors are not there. The floor and paper are not there. Nothing has been done here. The laboratory equipment and 
the service the building not completed and the not the uh, well used there is all the equipment and so on and so forth and they had to go back. With all these uncompleted and neglected projects, one might conclude that we actually lack the required intervention from the government. But most of these contracts have already been awarded by the government, and presumably, these contracts are backed by resources, huge sums of money. Perhaps it's a question of ignorance. In all the communities visited, not one of the beneficiaries or stakeholders was aware of the details of the contracts. The amount in the contracts for these projects even came in as a shock to them since they had no prior knowledge about it. For the first time, I'm coming to know the amount of the contracts that is being awarded in my school. For the first time. Just now. The contractors, there was a day I came across them and they were like, they are doing us a favor and they were there Question in there. We can't ask the contractor anything. We will tell you, say, not nah, we are doing there, I can go and do it in another place. That is the way they brag before us. What we saw in the architectural map, the type of building which was supposed to be elected in the community was not that type. Though, since we do not know who had sent them to do the construction, we were scared to ask them. Why is it that what you are doing is different from what we are seeing in the map? They, they, they refuse to disclose the level of what they were supposed to do in our community. But we were told that what they were supposed to do was more than what they did. Not only are contracts incomplete, in several cases that we visited, substandard materials are used for construction and the projects are marked as completed without the piercing eyes of the government. After going through the building said it doesn't look like hospital, there is no ward, the house is very tall, no sick person can go inside. It's almost completed but it doesn't look like hospital. When you get to uh, Kwanara, one of the buildings that was supposed to have been newly built, the roof got blown off two weeks after. Am I right? Yeah. Even the school that was fixed, some of the part of the Company is falling off. Some of the uh, walls is already felt down. Open contracting discloses procurement information in a way that enables various stakeholders to engage in public contracting processes. In other words, open contracting provides an avenue for us to open up our procurement system in order to fix it. And from a particular community, we have the uh, uh, health center. If you get to that place, you will be amazed and surprised. That is where. The reptiles are living. There is no human being that goes to that very place. I think the money that was given to them, they are using it for their own personal use. Or they have a, they have a way of reasoning with themselves. They, they, they call people in the, in the, in the M of Affair. In Nigeria, the contracting process has always been more about who knows who and less about competence and value for money, thereby making the communities a pawn in a political game. Due to some personalities that people have and with the government has, when they allow people to do projects, they will do it in a way that they feel that we are comfortable with them, but actually we are left out. Awareness creation has been a difficult thing in this country, and uh, we don't actually know our rights. So, the community members have resolved to take matters into their hands by making projects in their communities functional. After two years, I discovered that no, okay, nobody is coming, and we don't know what is happening. Whether it's government that uh, decide that the thing should remain like that, whether it's the contractor that has completely abandoned it, we don't know. So I called my community that let us come together and see what we can do. Then it is after these two years that the community come together to, to have what you can see in the building. In the main building, the contractor was able to put some ties in some of the rooms. The community came in and then completed the ties. The clinic was not all that in order. When the contractors finished putting up the building, then the community, the community members, they are the ones who set up the materials and employed us for us to start working here.
Budeshi is the story of a journey undertaken to observe and report on the performance of public services using procurement information and enlightening the communities on their need to engage with the system and demand accountability in the provision of public services. It's good that feedback always comes from you. We've come here, we've gathered, we will do our own, but that's still independent. There's nothing as strong as it coming from you saying it's the community that is saying that we need this. There was this Budeshi worker that is going to hold a town hall meeting along Haji Camp. I represented the community. I made a contribution to what the problem and situations at which most of the schools being built that of, by the federal government are into. After my conversation with the Budeshi at Mbakodi, we were expecting that we would see some people who come and visit the place. So to put either maybe some amendment on the building or a new come for completion of what was left. Nobody came up to now. The community members are displeased and also frustrated because they complain, but no action is taken. We didn't know who to complain to because the contractor just came in and said he has been directed to come and do this. The paper with which he came was not given to us. The people have done that, not once, not twice. All will just end in talking, nothing more than talking. We, we compare the local government to get to our village and see what is happening. Government Primary board the Michi Dita, since someone number two long already, Monkey Mesa Arbuche, Sunzo Sangani, says to Ram local Gamma, Idenska to Ram local Gamma, Sumal Gamma Sunzo, say the Arbutu, Idankabi, Gobajibi, the Bab one responded at Chisam. You could go around it now because what is expected of the government is not being done. And one of the ways the government is looking at this is through citizen engagement. And citizen engagement is a commitment that the president has made under the Open Government Partnership. There is going to be a constant dialogue with citizens across governance sector, both at the local level, at the state level, and at the federal level. The next thing is to ensure that, you know, wherever there are issues with mismanagement of funds in terms of the way procurement is managed and the way resources are generally managed. That's when it hits home, the effect of uh, wrongdoing. The law has prescribed that we advertise projects which enables every qualified person to participate. We also have the Freedom of Information Act which allows citizens to request for information on existing projects. So if they feel that these projects are not going on. They should request some information from the Bureau for Public Procurement. I blame the federal government. One, if they are giving a contractor a project in a certain community, let them send a letter to that community so that this is what the contractor is coming to build in your own community. This is the design of the project. This is the cost, cost of the project so that the community leader will know what they are coming to do is your own domain. We are trying to bring in the NOCOP, the Nigerian Open Contracting System. When that is deployed, it will get citizens involved in ensuring that projects are implemented. It's not just the government instruments. Citizens are able to monitor projects from their point of view, and they are able to report the same. Despite the fact that it is 100% completed, we retain what we call retention fees for another six months you must let a new building go through part of the rainy season so that you know whether there are leakages, whether there are defects, where we have ceilings falling, uh, roofs being uh, affected and so on, the contractor definitely is recalled to attend to all those. There is no maintenance policy on ground. The PTA is not longer effective. We are now setting up what we call SBMCs, school-based management committees, which have to take over uh, maintenance of schools until we reorientate people and change their attitude towards development projects. Uh, 
they will continue to suffer without the projects, despite the fact that the funds are there. Mm -hmm. As I speak to you, children sitting on bare classroom floors have the money for putting them on chairs is available, but cannot be accessed because of the absence of one thing or the other. quality education and healthcare services, but informed participation starts with a commitment to open up the system to public scrutiny. Budeshi, let's open it to fix it. Log on to www.budeshi.ng to find out more contract information in your area. For more information on all our projects, visit our website www.procurementmonitor.org. Procurement Monitor for Facebook at ppmonitorng for Twitter and procurement underscore monitor underscore budeshi for Instagram. Mm -hmm.